Stores and restaurants in Federal Hill say that it's time to call in a little more muscle. A group of businesses is considering hiring private security to help their customers feel safe. WJZ is live in Federal Hill. Kimberly Eaton with what sparked the call for more protection. Kimberly? And just store owners say the city's spike in violence is bad for business, so now they want to double down on security by hiring private guards to supplement police. The saying goes, perception is everything. Business owners in Federal Hill will tell you it's also their paycheck. If it's public perception of it's not safe, that's just not true. After a 2017 of spiking violence, the image of an unsafe Baltimore store owners say has driven customers away, even from the safest areas and the most established shops. We don't want it to ruin our business down there. Like Chauffeur's Furniture, now run by Hank Chauffeur, a 104-year-old family business. For the first time in more than a century, hiring private security, banding together with other retailers to buy the neighborhood some added protection. The president of nonprofit organization Federal Hill Main Street says the plan is to hire guards to patrol near bars and stores, copycatting Fells Point, which muscled up during the holiday season. The waterfront partnership is now picking up a $200,000 a year price tag for a team of guards there. As they begin to look at how they secure their neighborhoods and communities, my goal is to have them all working with the police department so that we can all be on the same page. Mayor Catherine Pugh says as she prioritizes the fight on violent crime, she supports the push for private security. Retailers just hope it's enough to push people back through their store doors. I would urge people to come downtown and see what they're missing. And the next step in the process is taking bids from private security firms and then collecting the cash to cover the tab, which could be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Reporting live in Federal Hill tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. The idea is to have a private security team in place by April 1st.